Good Monday, everyone. Looking at our weather map for today, we see the severe weather has pushed off to the east, mainly over the Carolinas, stretching up toward New Jersey. Farther to the west, we see another area of severe weather on the North Dakota-South Dakota border. That's the result of a more unsettled pattern up in their neck of the woods. And we're seeing just kind of unsettled weather kind of all across the country. I think this map does show more rain than what we'll see in our neck of the woods today. But we do have a 30% chance for a for an isolated or scattered shower or thunderstorm, especially this afternoon or evening. So um, unsettled weather continues through this week. But as our five-day forecast shows, our rain chances are rather low today and tomorrow. I'm just in time for the 4th of July holiday now. You know, we've been very fortunate with storms here lately. Yesterday, we had all the ingredients at play um, for significant severe weather, and it just didn't pop. And so we can be very thankful that we uh, that we missed out on that. Folks to our north didn't, and there were some big storms to our west, and even some pretty good storms to our east. So, and even down in Chattanooga, they had severe thunderstorm warnings. But the plateau was just kind of sitting here in this sweet spot. We were hot and humid, but we were rather storm-free. Today and tomorrow, we probably will be rather storm-free as well. We do have that 30% chance, so it's nothing to cancel outdoor plans over, but it is something to keep an eye on the radar for because you certainly don't want to be caught outside in one of these storms. So 30% chance during mainly the afternoon and evening of today and tomorrow, and then partly cloudy overnights with lows in the low to mid-60s. Now, Wednesday, um, rain chances start to pick back up again, just 50-50, though, and that's going to stay with us through Friday. You know, and there's some indications that Thursday might be a little wetter than 50-50, but I'm keeping it 50-50 for now. So you don't have to cancel outdoor plans Wednesday through Friday, but you're going to have to want to keep an eye on the radar and you're going to want to need shelter to get into just in case a storm pops up, you know, where you are. 30% chance Wednesday night, staying 50% Thursday night, and then dropping off to about 20% Friday night. And just sort of giving you a preview, looking ahead of the weekend, next weekend's looking rather unsettled too. So with about a 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms probably each day unless something changes. But So an unsettled pattern continues, but today and tomorrow looking like um, the, best of the, uh, the best two days of the week ahead. On this day, 1987, lightning struck and killed three men playing golf on a golf course near Kingsport, Tennessee. The men had shot, sought shelter under a tall tree. You know, we've gotten a lot better with the messaging since then, and so hopefully everyone knows by now not to get under, you know, anything tall um, during a lightning storm. 1863, was, this is a bit of a history one for you, Battle of Gettysburg, largest battle ever fought on the American continent, ends in a major victory for the Union during the U.S. Civil War. So on this, I thought that was appropriate for this 4th of July holiday weekend. You folks have a wonderful a wonderful Monday and keep looking up. For more weather information, just keep reading along meteorologistmart.com.